love with racing. The new love, the new betting brand for racing fans. With exclusive markets, promotions, insights and content. That's better. Gamble responsibly. It's racing in Sydney. Mick Sharkey is with me, and it's a great pleasure to have uh, Nick Luchanyuk, or Nick H, as we like to call him. Join us from punners.com.au. Nick, great to have your company. Thank you, Matty. Great to be here. Now, let's talk about the Everest. Is it a benefit for Nature Strip? Is he just going to turn up and win his second in a row? It certainly looks that way. The barrier is not going to be a problem. Not at all. Connections have spoken in the past that they prefer to be out wide than. You know, a chance to be cluttered up uh, with an inside draw. So the draw, not a concern at all. I'm not quite as bullish, I guess, that it's a benefit for him. What we do know is his best wins the race. He has at times dipped in his career uh, and sometimes that has been second up, but that's been a little bit different. This is a grand final. Uh, Those other uh, sort of failures, I guess, if you want to call it, uh, we're heading towards a grand final. Nick, as you say, he's not unbeatable. He has been beaten before. What do you think his Achilles heel is, particularly in this race? Look, we've obviously got a whole lot of pace in the race, um, but he does settle a whole lot better. But it's just, I guess, if they do go a bit silly, if he gets a little bit fired up, that it does set it up for something in behind them. But, But I personally can't see that happening. It would only be he just drops a length or two, and there's a couple there that, that, that could take advantage if that happens. Probably preempting a bit about your numbers, but who do you think are the main dangers? I mean, Lost and Running has been very impressive. Yeah, for mine, it is Lost and Running because of what we've seen this campaign. He's a six year old, but probably capable still of finding a little bit more improvement. And he's at his, at his best. And Eduardo as well, um, the old boy, nine-year-old now, but still going pretty well, was in the lead to the 75-metre mark last start. Yeah, Eduardo still going pretty well, still about $6 million in prize yeah. money. All right, uh, give us your numbers then for the big race, Nick. Yeah, numbers. Number one, Nate Strip, all pretty boring, unfortunately, but one here uh, to beat number three, Lost and Running. Number two, Eduardo and Mask Crusade. A Mask Crusader number four in for fourth. So it is the, the quality horses that we've seen uh, at this level before. All right, Shark, I, I gather you've got Nature Strip on top, but who have you, you got have second, to, third? I think you have to have Nature Strip on top. And, and look, you're getting a good price to play too, I think, about the world's best sprinter. I've got Marzu to run second. I think he's ready to peak for a grand final. And Lost and Running, who beat Marzu home last time. I think they'll just reverse placings from last start. Yeah, I've got the same numbers. I've got them the other way around. Mm-hmm. Uh, Lost and Running to, to run second. And Marzu has a great record on, on wet tracks and has won third up before. So no real surprises there in that race. But uh, it is a big uh, day at the Everest, Nick. So we need to find out a couple of other winners. What else uh, should we be following uh, at Ramwick? Look, wait late in the day for one. If they choose to come up to Sydney uh, in race 10, Cap de Soir, uh, raced in Victoria and in Port, who... It looks really impressive. Look, I know on the right.